The Witch with a Wart. One day, an old witch went out to her well to fetch some water. As the bucket came up, she suddenly saw the reflection of her face in the water. <laughs> the witch chuckled as she looked closely at herself. But during her inspection, she was horrified to discover a wart had grown on the end of her nose. Oh no, the witch cried as she picked at the wart. She felt desperate to be rid of it, for today was the day she was to meet her warlock for the first time. The witch pondered on what she could use to remove the wart. She decided that some magic could do the trick, so she hurried into her house in search of her spell book. After searching everywhere, she finally found it. She sighed with relief as she clutched the book tightly to her chest. The witch knew that if she followed the spell exactly, the wart would disappear. The witch sat down and flipped through the book looking for the perfect spell. At last she found the one she needed. She read it carefully. To remove a wart. Number one, poke the wart with a porcupine quill. Number two, squeeze one drop of rat spit into the wart. Number three, cover the wart with a spotted toad for one hour. Number four, remove the toad and speak the magic words, wartus gonus. Warning, this spell must be followed exactly or the wart will. In her haste, the witch, did, the witch didn't finish reading the spell. She ran behind her house to an old hollow log where a porcupine lived. She quickly reached inside to grab him. Ouch, cried the witch. She yanked her hand back to find it covered with painful quills. Carefully, she removed the quills and kissed her sore fingers. Then she used the last quill to poke a hole deep into the wart, just as the spell instructed. Next, she needed some rat spit. She searched under her house, but a rat could not be found. What was she to do? The witch looked around and saw her sleeping cat. Well, a cat is not a rat, but cats eat rats. The witch reasoned to herself. She was desperate and the cat spit just might work, she hoped. She quickly rubbed some milk onto her nose and lifted the cat up to her face. Lick, lick, lick went the cat's pink tongue until finally the witch felt some spit sink into the wart. Next, the witch sprinted down to the creek to catch a spotted toad. The witch saw one and leaped for it, but the toad jumped and was too fast for her. He got away. The witch was sad. She needed to find something that she could use to finish the spell. She looked around and finally found some spotted mushrooms. A mushroom has spots like a toad, the witch told herself. This would have to do. The witch picked one and ran into her house. She tied the mushroom to her nose and set the clock for one hour. The witch was worried that she hadn't followed the spell exactly, but she hoped the magic would still work. The warlock was soon to arrive. The witch rushed to get ready. She wanted to look her best to meet him. Suddenly, she heard a knock at the door. He is here, she shrieked. And with shaking hands, she untied the mushroom from her nose and said the magic words, Wartus Goddess. The witch opened the door to find the warlock on her step. He had a handful of stinking weeds for her. Hello, she said to him as she batted her eyelashes. But the warlock just stared at her. Quickly, the witch reached up to her nose to make sure the wart was gone. But it was not. Instead, it had multiplied into three warts. The spell had not worked. The witch was so shocked by this discovery that she fainted. The warlock lovingly reached out and caught her in his arms. 
When she awoke, the warlock dared, the witch dared to look at him and saw that he was smiling. We are a perfect pair, he said. You see the warts on his face? The witch soon realized that they were indeed a perfect match and they laughed happily as they sat down together and counted each other's warts.